German obligations to Greece, part 6, war reparations. During the Second World War, Greece lost over 700,000 people, which corresponds to a reduction equal to 1.1 million people, based on population differences between 1941 and 1945. That is, Greece lost 13.5% of its population, while the Soviet Union lost 10% and Poland 8% of their population. Germans executed unarmed civilians and destroyed Greek cities and villages. To date, there are 131 recognized Holocausts in Greece. The Germans burned 1,770 villages. They destroyed about 500,000 buildings. 5,000 out of them were schools. During the war, Greece lost approximately one-fourth of its buildings and is the country with the greatest destruction in buildings among all the other allied countries. While before the war there were no homeless people, during the liberation out of a total population of approximately 6 million people, the homeless numbered 1.2 million. At the end of the war, 75% of the children were suffering from illnesses. This is a map of 1946 showing in red spots the martyred villages in mainland, ruined during the German occupation. In some places near the border, arson spread to 90% of the villages in the area. Greece was devastated and its economy and infrastructure were ruined. The following are fragmentary figures of the extent of the destruction suffered by Greece, taken from the official 1946 report of the Ministry of Public Works, written by the architect Konstantinos Oxiadis, Deputy Minister of Reconstruction. This report was presented at the Paris Peace Conference, as well as at the United Nations, immediately after its establishment. The road network of Greece at the end of the war was largely destroyed, mainly by the Germans as they were leaving Greece. On this map, yellow lines indicate the intact part and red lines indicate the destroyed part of the road network. When Greece was liberated, the railway network was all, almost completely destroyed and the wagons had been seized by the Bulgarians and the Germans and taken to their homelands to strengthen their own railway networks. On this map, the black line indicates 25% and the red line 100% damage to the railway network. The Germans also destroyed 80% of the railway stations, 40% of the bridges, and 35% of the tunnels. As if the destruction of the transportation networks were not enough for the Germans, they continued their work of destruction in telecommunications. They destroyed all long-distance lines, while most of the machinery and facilities were seized for their homeland. On this map, solid lines indicate the aerial and dotted lines, the submarine telecommunication lines, 100% destruction of the network and 70% destruction of equipment and facilities. They even destroyed the hydraulic works that had nothing to do with the war. Irrigation works, dams, bridges and the plains of Thessaloniki and Ceres. Complete destruction of civil aviation. Airports and facilities were completely destroyed due to the war and the occupation. The planes and machinery were dismantled or transferred to the Axis countries. In 1945, civil aviation was as if it had never existed in Greece. In the Merchant Marine, out of 583 ships Greece had in 1939, 434 were lost during the war. 
the tonnage of the merchant fleet from about 1,930,000 tons before the war dropped to about 530,000 tons after its end. That is, it decreased by 73%. Leaving Greece, the Germans caused terrible destruction in the canal and the isthmus of Corinth. They blew up the bridge, pieces of which fell into the canal, threw as many wagons as they could into the narrow sea lane, blew up the sides of the canal in various places for the soil to fall into the sea, and sunk ships in the passage. Moreover, they threw mines on the ruins so that the creeks could not clear the passage. The result of this brutal series of actions was to completely block the isthmus, which remained closed for many years before the passage was cleared and a new bridge was built. In summary, and according to the official report of the Greek Ministry of Public Works, the German army destroyed road and rail network, telecommunications and irrigation network, ports, civil aviation, the Corinth Canal, 74% of cargo and 95% of passenger ships, one quarter of buildings, mines. Actually, the mining industry, iron, manganese, nickel, chromium, was destroyed as exports fell to 6% in 1941 and 2% in 1942. Also, the Germans led to the reduction of agricultural production by 75%, livestock by 80%, forests by 25%. Although in some areas, the destruction was much greater. In the forests of Attica, for example, the destruction reached 75%. This table refers to the Great Famine increase during the German occupation. It compares calories consumed by Greek citizens before the war, left column, and during the first year of the German occupation, 1941-1942, right column. Over 2,500 calories were consumed by 35% of the Greek population before the war, whereas this percentage dropped to zero during 1941-42. 1,800 to 2,500 calories, 47% of the population pre-war, 4% during the war. 1,200 to 1,800 calories, 16% pre-war, 18% during the war. 600 to 1,200 calories, 2% pre-war, 63% during the war. 0 to 600 calories, 0% pre-war, 15% during the war. In 1941, the occupation expenses paid by Greece to the Germans reached 40% of the national income, while the following year reached 90%. In order to cope with these obligations, the government was constantly printing money. This process contributed to an incredibly high inflation until the liberation of Greece. Product prices followed the course of money, inflation rose to unreal levels, and money circulated in sacks without any value anymore. Prices were thousands of times higher than before the occupation. For example, to buy about one kilogram of bread in April 1941, one gave 10 drachmas, while in September 1944, one had to give 153 million drachmas. And this is the greatest economic disaster in modern Greek history. After the bankruptcy of 1945, nine zeros were struck from the hyperinflationary banknotes. To be precise, 50 million drachmas pre-bankruptcy became one new drachma when the German mark was devalued only at a rate of 1 to 10. The test 10 Reichmarks became 1 Deutschmark. In the case of Greece, the repercussions of the devaluation are felt even today. Indeed, 
In 1938, the Greek drachma was 50 times stronger than the drachma of 2001 before Greece joined the Eurozone. According to the 1946 Paris Peace Conference, Germany is obliged to pay war reparations to Greece in the amount of 6.7 billion US dollars, market value of 1938, in compensation for wrecking the Greek economic infrastructure. This amount is equivalent to 309.5 billion euros, with interest included till 2014, according to the report of the Greek State General Accountant. In other words, Germany owes to Greece today more than 309 billion euros for war reparations. And this is only one out of the four kinds of German debts to Greece today. The peace treaties in Paris included, in addition to war reparations, territorial adjustments. For example, the Dodecanese Islands, which belonged to Italy since the end of the Italo-Turkish War in 1908, were handed over to Greece as partial compensation for the Italian invasion. On March 31, 1947, the handover ceremony took place. The people of the Deccanes, led by the mayor of Rhodes, Nidlin, watched the raising of the Greek flag after 630 years of slavery. The Allies, at the 1953 London Conference, gave Germany a reprieve until Germany would be reunited. This happened in 1990 with the 4 plus 2 Treaty of Moscow when the reprieve was extended for another five years till the end of 1995. However, till today, in 2022, Germany refuses to honor its debt to Greece in violation of the aforementioned international agreements. This is the second kind of German debt to Greece a debt towards the state for wrecking its infrastructure. That is, Germany owes to Greece for war reparations the amount of 309.5 billion euros. It should be noted that war crimes and the obligations arising from them do not lapse. It is only fair that Greece stops paying its debt to Germany until Germany starts paying its own debt to Greece. The following organizations participate in our Committee on German Debts. International Hellenic Association, Canadian Hellenic Congress, Hellenic American National Council, the Levani Foundation.